Okay, today we're covering taking a brake barrel scope, and technically it's a spring piston air gun scope, but we're just going to say brake barrel for short because it's the most popular design. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this and make it fit on an 880. So if you're new to this, you're probably saying, okay, well, it just looks like the scope, so what's the big deal? Okay, there's many big deals. This thing has friction tape and a scope stop. I show it in another video. Let me get a good angle for you. Okay, that's this peg right here. And these are things we need to deal with to, to mount this successfully on an 880. So let's start by addressing the scope stop. So we'll take the screws out of there. Okay, now, first of all, let's talk about the friction tape. What is friction tape and what is that for? Okay, on a spring gun that jolts, what happens is the friction tape is sticky and it keeps your tube, the actual tube of your scope, from migrating inside your rings, meaning it scoots back inside the rings. And so what we're trying to avoid is a situation like that, uh, the rings riding on your bell. Uh, if it was no big deal for rings to ride on your bell while it's jolting, they, we wouldn't bother with friction tape. But you don't want a situation where this is basically slamming into your bell. Okay. So, okay. So now let's go ahead and take this off. Okay. Again, it's sticky. That's why you're seeing. Now watch this. With a normal scope from a sporting goods store that will fit your 880, you wouldn't have a situation like that. See the top of that ring is stuck on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll, we don't have to pull that off, so we'll just leave that be. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, there is a good look at your scope stop. That's fine for a, a gamo brake barrel, but we want to put the scope on your 880. So we get in here and facing that towards you, there is a hole there for your wrench, same size. Uh, you actually turn right in this situation. So you turn to your right. And then we turn it over and you can see that guy coming out of there and then voila okay we do not need a scope stop for your 880 it's recoilless so now let's go ahead and mount this base on here and i'll put it up here towards the loading port we got to be wary of the rear sides so want to bang into that with your bell so all right so we'll just tighten the one and be careful remember this isn't a piston tube on a spring piston gun it's not metal it's just plastic so be careful with your dovetail you'll do both we'll just do the one for the video okay so that was important and now we're going to go ahead and take apart this one because the things you need to do when you're putting a scope on your gun and dealing with friction tape, we don't need friction tape on an 880. All right, so hold on here. I try to keep them loose for expediency, but let's go. Let's go. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's put the other base on here. Okay. Okay. Now, on this stage here, when you're putting this on your 880. There we go. We're just going to do the one. Okay, so there is a sticky friction tape there. Here, let me see if I can light that up for you so you can get a better look at that. Okay, it's kind of hiding out in there. Okay, so the friction tape, okay, you can see that. Now, don't bother trying to pull that off or strip that off. Um, you could potentially mar or damage the actual um, mount, so you don't want it to... You don't need to bother with that. Just know it's going to be very sticky compared to other scopes. And so with this gamo, 
when you put it on here. And so what we're trying to do is obviously the, okay, let me see if I can get that to show. Mm -hmm. There we go. Do you see? The, okay, there. Okay. It's getting a little tricky, but <laughs> stay with me. But okay, there we go. See, do you see how there? See? So we want to make sure that your horizontal uh, line is obviously to your liking. So uh, when you put it on here, and remember, don't put it up here. Don't try riding your bell on your mount. So or on the base of that. So I like it about right here. Okay. And so what you'll do is you're going to have to gently kind of turn it side to side and then lightly press and it will stick to that tape. So that's pretty nice. And then put the top of your rings back on. And then that will do it. Okay, so that is a nice little scope. So gamo, that little gamo, four times 32. So it's four power, 32 objective lens. Uh, it, it makes a nice looking little scope on an 880. So yeah, this is definitely uh, a choice if you get the gamo Delta and uh, Delta Fox and you, you're like me, you're happy with open sights, put it on a daisy if it needs a scope. Also daisy 35. All right, thank you.